heard were the Royal Velvet and Soma 63 by Greer. Um, I'm demoing these two together because they are both part of Greer's XFR series pedals, which have transformers, tiny little transformers. And I'm hoping they can turn into Optimus Prime. That would be so cool. Transformers, like in amps. The big ones, but then really tiny, so it fits in a pedal. I'll open a pedal up so we can see the transformer. There aren't many builders out there that use transformers in pedals, and I haven't played a lot of them. There's an Italian guy doing it, I can't remember the name, but there's an Italian brand using transformers in boost pedals, and now these Greer uh, pedals. Um, and what strikes me instantly is that they have a different kind of breakup, different kind of dynamics. Um, can't quite put my finger on it, but I really like it. And that's what matters in the end. The Soma 63 is based on a vintage brown face amp, um, small one. And uh, they've designed it so it sounds like the entire amp. Not just the circuit, but also the preamp, the power section, the phase inverter. Uh, and even the speaker, like the small 10-inch Utah speaker, um, even the character of the speaker they've tried to approach, and they've done a really, really good job. The Royal Velvet is based on a Vox AC30 and mixed with the Greer Thunderbolt 30. So let's check out some sounds of these pedals. I'll be using the Panucci 59, made here in the Netherlands in The Hague, uh, by Angelo, and Angelo is a fantastic guitar builder. I borrowed this guitar from him to do a few videos with. It's sold already, um, so before it goes to its new home, I'll get to play around with it for a little while. Angelo and I discussed doing some videos together, um, and we ended up deciding I'm gonna make a short video of every guitar he makes, which is about 30, five guitars a year, so he'll have some kind of library um, from every guitar he built, which is really cool, I think. So we'll be seeing a lot more Panucci's on my channel. All right, here we go. Soma 63, I'm gonna put on some headphones. I really need to get a good pair of in-ear monitors because this doesn't look very good, I think. Um, so if you can recommend me a pair Please do so in the comments.
presence, dial back the presence. <laughs> you can use it as an always on pedal because Just a bit of grit and compression. And balls! Big balls! Because it has a bass control. Right, let's crank the gain all the way until noon. Love it. Enjoyable. All right, Royal Velvet. First clean tone, so you can hear the difference. <laughs> It's got the brightness of a class A British amp. 
back on the tone a bit. gets cleaner. enjoyable very enjoyable all right let's open one up and see if we can spot one of those transformers
All right. Let's focus this camera. Look at it. Here's a transformer. Super cool. And it has trim pots. So I'm going to check the manual to see what that does. I can't find any information on the career website. Let's see if this one has trim pots. Maybe they're just not meant to mess with. More trim pots. I'm going to reach out to Greer to check what this does, but I don't think it's meant to tamper with because there is nothing on the PCB uh, that indicates what these should do. So I'm not, not going to touch them. <laughs> I think that is the wise decision at the moment. I'll uh, put it in the description. If they are supposed to be messed with and what you can do with them. I really hope Greer will release more of these pedals with transformers because I think it's a super cool concept. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, that would help me enormously. And if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon, where you can find all kinds of exclusive content, like the jam track I used in this video, and a lot more stuff. Thanks, bye.